guys, Ernie here, Paleo Hiker MD, and today is day 17 of the Whole30. So we are moving on down. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but every day I'm trying to put basically kind of a song title or something like that that kind of describes the day. Some of them are self-exclamatory. Some of them are a little harder. But today's is Viva La Vida, and uh, that is one of my favorite Coldplay uh, songs, and it just seems like a good day to just live the life. Um, it was a good day. Overall, energy is high. I think at this point in your whole 30, you're really going to start to look back and you're going to say, man, I feel a lot better. Like, I, I feel better. And it takes a while because you're going through those early, you know, 7, 10, 12 days and you're like, am I ever going to feel better? Because this doesn't feel good. And I don't know what this guy's talking about. Or these Hartwig people are crazy. You know, it is a progression and it does happen for you if you take the time to stick with it. Um, overall, I think at this point you want to just start enjoying your life a little more. You want to start enjoying the energy you have, enjoy the sleep that you're getting, and just enjoy the overall feeling you get from doing this Whole30. Two feelings. One is physical, of course, you feel better, but the second without question is emotional or psychological. You're sticking with it. We're 13 days away from being done and really changing our lives for the long term. So today was a good day. All right, so today's challenge. I'm seeing that challenges are revolving sometimes around foods that I can't have. But today was a really rough challenge because they brought sushi to the office today and we could choose whatever we want, uh, which equated to zero for me. Uh, because of course, you know, as much as I'd like to say that I can order out from someplace and know what I'm getting, I can't. And although sashimi is very good, it is best dipped in something. And I just didn't really want to even mess with it. So no sushi for me today, which was quite a challenge. And I'm finding that, that this time I'm noticing that that social interaction, that the things that you usually revolve food around, has been a challenge because I haven't been able to partake in those. Um, and it's been a little more difficult, but certainly worth it. Just something to note as a challenge today. All right, so today's health tip may hit home a little bit. I can tell you guys, when I tell people any number of things, uh, you need to quit smoking. You need to improve your diet. You need to get more exercise. You need to cook better at home. The general answer starts with these words. I am trying to do that. And I tell people straightforward, stop trying and start doing and today's tip is just about that. The fact that trying, the word trying, can be the biggest excuse you'll ever allow yourself in life. It's easy. I need to quit smoking. Well, I'm trying to do that, so working at it. It gets you out of a conversation. It gets you out of talking to somebody about it. And it gives the impression, whether it be falsely or not, that you're actually trying to do something about it. Um, you need to get more exercise. You need to spend more time with your family and less time at work. You need to eat healthier. I'm trying to eat healthier. I'm trying to step away from the table. You know, I'm trying to eat less. I'm trying to eat less carbohydrates. I'm trying to eat less fast food. You know, if you just keep trying, you're never going to get anywhere. You have to get past the point of trying and start doing. And that is the tip of the day. Eliminate the word trying from your vocabulary. I have a good friend right now who's going to start his Whole30 in about a week. And his wife says she'll try to do it. I told them both. I said, if you try, you will fail. If you do, you will not. Just remember that and you will have much more success in changing your life long term. All right, so what I eat today? Well, for breakfast, I'm going to give everybody choices. Fruit, fruit, or fruit. I ate some fruit. I ate some grapes today, which were very good. Also had a banana and went on my way out the door with some water. Uh, for lunch, I was very pressed for time because I don't know quite what happened, but it seemed like all my patients are in the hospital right now. So I had a lot of work this morning before clinic at 1030. And I was struggling to make it, so I did the best I could. I bought a pack of prosciutto, didn't even bother with the melon. Um, 
ate some watermelon because I didn't feel like wrapping it up. I just scarfed it down with some watermelon and I had a handful of macadamia nuts and I was on my way for lunch. Uh, for dinner tonight, my wife is out of town on a ladies only evening, uh, enjoying some time with her friends and my kids are at my mother-in-law's because I am home on call. Hard to take care of two munchkins when you usually have to leave several times throughout the night. and They're not old enough to stay by themselves. So I'm here by myself tonight, cook for myself. Uh, basically didn't plan anything, got home and hoped there was something I could cook. Luckily there was some ground meat in the bottom of the fridge and we had one semi-green plantain left. So before I get too many calls tonight, I made some uh, spaghetti sauce. We got some great Whole30 compliant um, pasta sauce, basically spaghetti sauce, tomato sauce. And I made that with the ground meat and I fried up one plantain's worth of our ever-present tostones here at the house. Uh, was very good filling, getting ready for the night. That is always a mystery, so we'll see how it goes, but that's what we ate. All right, guys, we're really getting close to being in the last 10 days. I'm getting pretty exciting. Um, overall, I hope you guys have enjoyed this process. I have enjoyed it. And in fact, the reason that I did this third Whole30, which is my third Whole30, was simply to share it on my blog and on my YouTube videos and see if I can inspire some people to do it. I'm having decent views, nothing spectacular, but I hope that over time, more and more people watch these videos and get inspired to do their own Whole30. My job as a physician is to help people, help people get healthier and to live longer lives and better lives. And I hope that some people will look at this Whole30 journey that I've gone on myself as a physician and decide maybe it's a good idea to try it themselves. So we'll see how that goes. For now, like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you guys watching, tuning in, and uh, stay tuned tomorrow for day 18. Thanks.